This story is set in the year 2030 when rumours suggest there will be a major crisis in the world of further education. The number of applications to medical schools will reach a critical level and difficult decisions will have to be made. My target audience are the potential medical students of the future and those academics who play a part in medical education. Every year we hear that it is getting more and more difficult to get into medical school. For this reason I have come up with a solution which could be used if this event was ever to occur. Why should you watch this video? Well, it's possible that we could face this scenario in 20 years time. You may be the Dean of Leicester Medical School at the time, or you could be an advisor to the Department of Health, or you won't be either and this video will never be of any relevance to you. So just sit back and enjoy. There are two types of students who enter medical school. There are the usually younger undergraduates and there are also the more mature postgraduates. There's only one way to find out. There are many reasons why people want to do medicine. Some people want to help others. Others believe the pay is very good. And there are some who apply for medicine because their parents tell them to do so. The increasing competition means there are always some disappointed students and some potentially very able doctors miss out on their dream. The postgraduates hear of the developing crisis and decide that they want all the places. They have a mass protest outside the British Medical Association offices in London. The academics are under pressure from the Department of Health to make the best doctors. They join in the argument and say that the postgraduates have better work ethics so would make the better doctors. The undergraduates are worried and helpless. They don't have a worthwhile counter-argument. As is the case when the media get hold of a controversial story, the government decide they must act to show the public they are doing something. They look at the competition ratios and decide that a committee must be set up to look at the problem further. The committee will be chaired by the Deputy Prime Minister who will be keen to show that he does have some power in the House of Commons after 19 years in the shadows of various Prime Ministers. Prime Minister, do you now regret when once asked what your favourite joke was, you replied, Nick Clegg, and Deputy Prime Minister, what do you think of that? <laughs> I, we're all going to have. I, I'm afraid I did oh, once. Right. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> uh, we're all... Come back! The committee needs some inspiration. They look at the College of Law, who provide a postgraduate course to become a solicitor. There are three possible solutions to this crisis. After reviewing all the data, and talking to all those involved, Nick Clegg and the committee decide that medicine should be purely a postgraduate degree. The postgraduates are ecstatic like the Blackpool fans were when their team got promoted. The undergraduate students are very disappointed. They must spend an extra three years doing an undergraduate degree before entering the minefield, which is the medicine application. They now go on protest in London, but unfortunately, the story doesn't make the BBC News at 10 and therefore nobody listens. The number of students applying for the biological sciences hits record highs. The universities are not very happy, but the government decides that this is one headache too many and they do not get involved. The MPs use the taxpayers' money to go on an exotic round the world trip. Many of the disappointed undergraduates decide not to go to university and move to a beach in Barbados to live a relaxed life. Are they the lucky ones?